few things before we get going. Number one thing, respect. Correct? Yeah. Keep your phones away, please. Please be respectful while people are talking. All right. Today we're honored to be joined by representative, representatives of the U.S. Army and the Pro Football Hall of Fame to recognize one of our student athletes as one of the only 20 students in the entire country to be named a finalist for the U.S. Army Pro Football Hall of Fame Award of Excellence. Entire student body and every member of our staff. It is an honor to have representatives of the U.S. Army and the Pro Football Hall of Fame travel here today to honor one of our own. With that, I would like to welcome Mr. Jerry Shockey from the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing today? every one of you to today's U.S. Army and Pro Football Hall of Fame event. Uh, thank you all so much, Mr. Allen. Uh, I know you do uh, kind of everything here. You're the assistant principal, you're the activities coordinator, you're the athletic director, you're coach, right, as well? No, 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 no. Let's break out with you, right? But, uh, but uh, this is doing everything, so thank you very much. Let's make some noise for proud to be here to represent the Pro Football Bay, but we're extremely proud to partner with the U.S. Army. Obviously, as you guys know, they're both highly reared institutions. The Pro Football Hall of Fame and the U.S. Army are founded on strong values and, of course, a commitment to excellence. Together, we have established this prestigious award, the U.S. Army the Pro Football Hall of Fame Award for Excellence, to honor the nation's top sophomore, juniors, and senior high school athletes. But but think about this for a second. This, this award not only does this, does this honor a person who's demonstrated outstanding ability in sports, but also a person that shines academically, as I think you guys all know about Coulter, that he shines academically. 30, 31? Is that what? 31 in the ACT? I can't even count by that, so. <laughs> but our, our outstanding members uh, of the community. Um, at the Pro Football Hall of Fame, as I come here from, from Canton, Ohio, our mission in Canton, Ohio, is to honor the heroes of the game, to preserve its history, to promote its values, and to celebrate excellence. And I need you guys to help me with this, because as a staff, whenever our executive director meets with us, we say celebrate excellence, and we all have to yell out everywhere. So I'm going to try this again. Celebrate excellence everywhere. Very good. Um, so and, and if you think about this, since football started over 95 years ago, there have been over 100 million youth that have played the game, 2.2 million have played at the college level, and of those, only 23,000 players have played the game professionally. Now we can break that down even further and tell you how 23,000 players that have played in the NFL since it started in Camp Ohio in 1920, which is one of the reasons why the Pro Football Game is there, there are only 295 enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So not only do we celebrate excellence, we kind of have an understanding of what it means to be part of an elite team like the U.S. Army. So this spring, the U.S. Army and the Pro Football of Fame will travel the country recognizing the top 20 finalists for this award, and we are here today to recognize one of your own. Colter. Go ahead and make some noise for Colter. But this is also for the school, for the community, and let's make some noise for the family that's sitting up here. Hope this family. Yeah. Yeah. So joining us for this program for the U.S. Army is Staff Sergeant Chan and your local Army representative, Sergeant First Class Davis. Do you recognize both of them as well?
proud to be joined by all my brothers and sisters in arms from the Kansas City Recruiting Battalion, Cape Girardeau Recruiting Company, and the Festus Army Career Center. All right? Welcome to all you guys. And at this time, I'd like to take a special moment. Uh, anyone that signed up with the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Army, can you please stand? Anybody out the crowd? Be very proud of yourself to make such a uh, commitment at such a young age, and uh, we know you've been doing great things for our nation. So thank you very much, and thank you, special thank you to all the uh, prior veterans in the crowd. Army soldiers, professional football players, and high school athletes all know the importance of adaptability and versatility in working as members of a team. Whether it's defending your end zone or defending your country. Teamwork is essential in accomplishing your objective. But the U.S. Army and Pro Football Hall of Fame also know that to be truly successful requires character, a values-based foundation, and the commitment to reach back and ensure that those who follow you are positioned equally, if not better, for future success. Through this joint recognition, we have come together to encourage the aspiration for this student, Colton Edmire, and the accomplishment of excellence through academics, athletics, and through volunteerism. The student athletes we celebrate through the U.S. Army and Pro Football Hall of Fame Award for Excellence are all integral members of their teams, but not just their athletic teams, but also their families, schools, extracurricular programs, and civic organizations. Like every Army soldier, and certainly a professional Hall, Hall of Famer, they understand the importance of every team member in accomplishing the mission. And that victory is only achieved if every member does their job and does it well. Anyone can celebrate being the best at fighting. But the U.S. Army and Pro Football Hall of Fame, two organizations that are founded on strong values, wanted to celebrate those who strive for and achieve not just to be great athletes, but outstanding people. By celebrating not just physical prowess, but academic achievement and civic mindedness, we aren't just celebrating student athletes, but the community, parents, teachers, coaches, troop leaders, and community organizers. All of you who have encouraged, mentored, and supported them. Our finalists' success could not have been achieved without support of this outstanding school. We'd like to especially recognize Mr. Eric Allen and Festus High School for creating an environment in which students can thrive and become outstanding citizens. Mr. Allen, on behalf of the U.S. Army, thank you for your dedication to the education of our nation's youth. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now I'd like to take a moment to introduce a very special guest with us today. I am honored to introduce the Pro Football Hall of Fame Gold Jacket, Anais Williams. Mr. Williams is a former Arizona Cardinal and St. Louis Ram. He started cornerback for the first 12 years of his career before switching to safety. He was named to the Pro Bowl seven times as a cornerback and once in the safety, and was selected to the NFL's All-Decade Team of the 1990s. Throughout his career, Mr. Williams has registered 55 interceptions, which he returned for staggering 807 yards. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Pro Football Hall of Famer, Mr. Aeneas Williams. Alright, I grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana, 
part of the area you guys never heard of called Hollywood. It's the same area where Lil Wayne is from. I know him as the Wayne Park Jr. Now, prior to moving to Missouri, I used to think, I didn't go to LSU, but we were big LSU fans. I used to think there was only one Tiger in the SEC, but Gary Pink and his staff have certainly proven that there is a big Tiger in Missouri. Uh, so that little tiger down in Louisiana better be able to notice. So it's, a, it's an honor to be here, and I see your tiger uh, on the wall. I'm so glad to be here. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Thank you to all the Army reps, the entire Pro Football Hall of Fame, and Festus High School for letting me participate in today's ceremony. I am proud and honored to be here. As a part of this award presentation, the road to the Hall of Fame demands commitment. Everybody shout commitment. commitment. You're alive, I can hear you breathing. Everybody shout commitment. commitment. And hard work on and off the playing field. To reach that level of excellence requires a variety of skills. Dedication to teamwork, adaptability, and versatility. Skills instilled in every U.S. Army soldier. That is why this partnership is a perfect fit and why we're pleased to honor today's recipient and pass on some of the lessons that I've learned that will help all of you in your given pathway. Anytime I get a chance to speak before students, when I think about the Hall of Fame, when I think about the success and being a Pro Football Hall of Famer, as Jerry said earlier, uh, 295, over 23,000 guys that played in the NFL, it's less than 300 that are in the NFL Hall of Fame. Why is it significant if I talk about leadership, if I talk about what culture many of you guys have you get it, because I call it the three, the trifecta, when you understand the importance of academics, you understand that you have the ability to excel on the playing field, but you also understand your civic duty and give it back to your community. And later on when we present this award to culture, I want to share one thing with you guys and hopefully you never forget this. I didn't start playing football until my junior year in college. I walked on a week before the season started. Started playing football when I was four. Stopped playing after my senior year because I wasn't highly recruited. And all I wanted to do is get to Southern University and be like my uh, middle brother Achilles. Now why is significant talking to you guys? Because my life changed around my junior year in college. It was around that time my brother Achilles graduated with his degree in accounting in three and a half years. I was on pace to graduate my degree in accounting in three years because I went year round. The reason why my junior year is significant because growing up, my parents sent us to church, but this God thing never made sense. When my brother Achilles graduated, I started trying to figure out who in the world is Aeneas because I was known as Achilles' little brother. And around that time, I started trying to figure out who I am. I have a degree in accounting and I don't even like numbers. Y'all supposed to laugh at that, all right? <laughs> But if you don't remember anything else that I say, around my junior year in college, I started trying to figure out who I, was, who I was, and I ended up giving my life to Jesus Christ. And at that time, I started trying to figure out the nature of purpose. And what's the challenge for all of you guys today, while in high school? Your challenge is to be like everybody else, but I want to share with you your values and your difference. If someone had told me my freshman and junior year I had the ability to be a Hall of Fame quarterback, I would have thought they were crazy. But here the truth is, I am a NFL Hall of Famer, but it was because of the word commitment. And I want to use the family name and take the first portion of the last name, Egemont. You see, I had some breakfast this morning, and on my breakfast plate, I had some eggs and some bacon. Now, whether I talk about leadership, whether I talk about excellence, all of those things that are required to become a Hall of Famer, I want to leave you with a word picture that you'll never forget. 
Anybody like bacon and eggs? All right. What's the difference between the egg and the bacon? So let's go back to who produced the egg? The chicken. Everybody say the chicken. Who produced the bacon? We would say the pig. Everybody say the pig. Now, no matter what you do in life, the only things that you commit to is what you're going to be successful at. And how I define commitment is how I define the egg and the bacon. You see, the breakfast plate, the chicken is involved in my breakfast. Why? Because the chicken is still alive. It just gave an egg. But unfortunately, the pig had to die in order for us to have the bacon on our plate. So what's the difference when we talk about commitment to become an NFL quarterback, Hall of Famer, or to serve in my church the way I do now, or to serve the community today? You have to die to yourself that you ultimately will be in community. And what does that mean? That means on a football team, how do you have teamwork? Everybody has to strive for the goal that the coach has laid out for the entire team. Your coach told me earlier, coach, an interception that you made 101 yards against Clayton High School. And then you scored a touchdown parallel in the back of the end zone. But yet you go out into the community and die yourself and meet the needs of people. You see, that's what life is about. And as I sit down, please remember, your value is in your difference, not your life. You have to fall in love with who God has made you. Your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with your talent is your gift back to God. As I sit down and I prepare to honor Coach Egemeyer, you guys, the younger generation, you are 15% of our population, but yet 100% of our future. And when I get to meet guys like culture and you guys, I know we're in great shape. Because you guys do. And you're very conscientious about changing and making the place better for you. <coughs> so without further ado, it pleads me to introduce to you your finalist for the U.S. Army Pro Football Hall of Fame Award for Excellence, Coulter Egermeyer.
So when I first heard about this award, to me it just sounded like another award that was out there. I didn't really know much about it. Um, once Coach told me about it, I went to research it, and then I really realized how much of a prestigious award it was. And the chance to even be honored for it got me really excited. But when I got that phone call that I had actually won the award, I can't even describe the feelings. And so I just want to thank the U.S. Army for everything they've done, for uh, doing everything out there, bringing all the representatives here, and uh, giving me this opportunity, along with the Pro Football Hall of Fame, um, Jerry, um, and everything they're doing for me. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking my teachers. Um, they wouldn't, they've done everything for me, obviously taught me everything I know. <laughs> and then uh, moved my teammates. Uh, obviously I wouldn't be here without them. They're uh, a big driving force in what I do. And, uh, <laughs> um, they're a big motivating factor in everything I do, not just athletics. And so I try to be it big part of what they do to be a leader for all the younger teammates of mine. Um, and then I'd like to thank my parents, obviously, for raising me into what I've become. And I would mean their caring guidance for me. Um, and then my brother, he's obviously the biggest role model of my life. Um, everything I've done is for him. So. Um, Seven minutes. 
left in class. And plus, how many days left of school do we have? I want you guys to very carefully, quietly, and quickly head back to the balance. 